All right, what I want to go over in this video is um, it's becoming a lot more common for all the newer cars to have variable valve timing. Um, basically, what that does is exactly what it says. It adjusts the timing as you're driving the vehicle, depending on load and acceleration for fuel economy and emissions. Um, I'm seeing these codes a lot at work all the time and 50% of the time there's really no parts that need to be replaced. Basically what you want to do is you're going to want to make sure your oil is full and clean and sometimes even change it just to make sure. But 50% uh, of the times uh, these variable valve timing solenoids um, they can stick or if the oil is getting sludged up or if the oil is low um, it's not going to activate those actuators properly. So. First thing you want to want to do is just check your oil level or or even change your oil and clear the codes and see if it comes back before you waste any money on um, on any kind of repairs or any kind of diagnosis. This is something anybody can do pretty easily. Um, I mean, and if you are a little more mechanically inclined, I would go ahead and pull the solenoid right out. Typically, they're pretty easy to get to. Um, there's one bolt on this particular one. There's one bolt that holds it in, so you can pull these pop these things right out. Um, on this one, I've actually removed the screens, but in the center you can see there's a screen here, right there. Um, I removed these two screens. What this is, what this does is basically it's just a magnetic solenoid that pulls a plunger back and forth, right here. Um, and depending on where the plunger is in here, it directs oil to a cam phaser, which in turn actually um, adjusts the timing. So when you pull these out, basically all you really want to do, you want to clean this. Make sure, make sure these screens are clean, they aren't filled with sludge. I see that a lot of times. Um, you can spray brake cleaner right in here, it will clean up any sludge or any dirt. Um, and then another thing you can also do is this is just a, it's just a two pin solenoid, a 12 volt solenoid. Um, you can connect power and ground to this thing and make sure the plunger inside is activating back and forth. So providing this thing is clean and uh, you know you can activate the solenoid and it appears to work, then that means this part, there's nothing wrong with this part. Um, typically, like I said, at least 50% of the time, um, I can change oil on a vehicle or I can pull this valve timing solenoid out. I can clean it. At the same time, I'll usually manually test it, um, stick it back in, clear the clothes, drive the vehicle, and usually there's no other concerns. Uh, usually that fixes the problem. So, like I said, just before you go wasting a whole lot of money on diagnosis or repairs, uh, this is something... Just about anybody could do themselves, even if you gotta go to AutoZone, get codes pulled. If you got if you got some P0010 codes, P0013, P0028, um, these are all timing, variable valve timing related codes. Um, definitely just try clearing the code first and making sure your oil is full and clean. 90% of the times, this is gonna fix your problem.